it angers me. It makes my blood boil. Well, that offensive message was written directly onto the Olentangy Trail. It was a racist slur, and one Columbus man decided he was going to do something about it. Teen TV's Brittany Bailey talked to a fat local father who said he had to take a stand. Morgan Hughes is a regular here on the Olentangy Trail, but what he does not want to be a regular sight here is the graffiti he saw on this trail earlier this week. It was one of those things where you look at and you're like, this, surely this can't be, this can't be real, but it was right there right in front of my face. What Morgan Hughes saw Monday morning was the N word spray painted right on the trail. A few steps later, he found the word again and then again a third time. So the next day he took action, painting over those offensive messages himself. He then posted about it on Twitter, wanting to send a message himself that this is not okay. I don't want any kids walking past and thinking that that's normal. I don't want to see, I don't want adults walking past and thinking that's normal. That's not normal. It's, it's awful, it's hateful, it's, it's not welcomed in my community, in my city, not on my watch. City leaders say they've received dozens of reports about graffiti in the past few years. From March 8, 2020 to March 8, 2023, the city received 219 reports of graffiti at a city park or community center. And while there is no breakdown on how many of those reports involved racist graffiti, two recent complaints from this week and last month focused on racial slurs. City leaders say if the graffiti reported is racist in nature, they do try to have crews come out the same day to take care of it, but they do encourage you not to take care of it yourself. They'd rather power wash it themselves rather than have layers of paint built up on top of it. Reporting in Columbus, Brittany Bailey, 10TV News.